You all may have heard of the griffin, but do you know how many types of griffins are there in the mythical world? Well, let's dive into the life of griffins. A griffin is a creature that's part lion and part eagle because the lion is traditionally considered the king of the beasts and the eagle king of the birds. Since the earliest mentions, the griffins are thought to be especially powerful and majestic creatures and is mainly known for guarding treasures and priceless possessions. Griffins are believed to be neither good or bad as depicted in movies today, but more of an entity that is dangerous and monstrous as they wielded immense power. Historically, there were two main types, the Hyperborean, found in the forested hills of Europe and Russia, and the Indian Griffin or the Griffins of Indoi, associated with gold deposits in Central Asia. The Indian Griffins lived in the Middle East and Northeastern India. They looked more like lions than eagles. People thought they were special and connected to Helios, the god of sun. Even though they could fly, they weren't very good at it. Still, they were strong enough to beat dragons and elephants. These Indian griffins were about the size of a wolf. They had the legs and claws of a lion and colorful feathers, black feathers on most of their body, red feathers on their chest, blue feathers on their neck, and white wings. On the other hand, Hyperborean griffins were dedicated to Apollo and guarded his treasures from the one-eyed Aramaspi in the country of the Hyperboreans, Scythia. They looked like normal toned mixture of an eagle and a lion. In Greek mythology, griffins can be seen pulling the chariots of Zeus and Apollo. There is one more interesting myth about the griffins that the griffins were very sexual in nature and mated with different animals, hence creating a variety of griffian hybrids. While on the other hand, there is another theory that griffins were said to mate for life once they found a partner. If one were to die, the other would continue a solitary life, never to search for another. We can find the hybrids of griffins all around the world. Comment below which hybrid griffin is the treasure keeper of your region. Interestingly, griffin lore evolved over time, leaving these unfolded mysteries to the curiosity of human civilization. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe to get on the journey with me to upbring the facts and origins of these forgotten legends.